Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use the sales pipeline in Salesforce CRM. So once you log into Salesforce you will come to the home screen. Now in order to use the sales pipeline what we need to do is head over to our opportunities. So go to opportunities and then we can go to any particular record on our opportunities page. Now that, as you can see we are currently on the Kanban view but if we just change the view to the normal table view um, and we would be used to that. As you can see we can then go on any particular record that we so wish. So for example I'm going to use the CRM crew opportunity and this is where we can use the sales pipeline. Now, in each stage of the pipeline, different fields are required to be filled in. So at the qualification stage, we have close date, description, and budget confirmed. Now, I must stress that sales pipelines will change, especially if you've had your system customized, it is not gonna look um, probably even remotely similar to the standard setup that Salesforce provides. But the principles do remain, fields need to be filled in per different stage. So as you can see here, we get a budget confirmed, tick or not, and we can edit that using the pencil marker. Just press tick and then press the save button. And then as we move along the stages of our sales pipeline, all we need to do is just tick on the next stage. So, or, you, or the other option is I suppose you could mark stage as complete and then you'd move on to the next stage. So as you can see, we're now on the needs analysis stage of this particular record and we need to work out the amount uh, the close date and uh, whether the discovery has been completed. So let's say we've worked out the amount of 10,000 and discovery date has uh, discovery has been completed as well, sorry, and we've also got a close date. Now do, um, do bear in mind that anything with a red asterisk by it means it's business required. That means that you cannot move from this particular stage to the next stage without it containing data or containing information. So once you've filled out the relevant information, press mark stage as complete and you'll continue moving along the stages um, and the sales pipeline. So again, you've got the amount, the close date, has the ROI analysis been completed? You can tick or you can actually leave that given that that is not business required. So let's say we mark this stage as completed and then we get to the final stages of the negotiation. And you may, if given that this may be a custom system that you're using, have different fields that need to be filled in at the various different stages. Now we can mark stage as complete. We are at the final stage, so we then need to close the opportunity. So this is going to be the same for everyone. Using the drop down menu, we can select the status of the closed opportunity. We can either close this stage, uh, we can either close this opportunity as one or we can close this opportunity as lost. Now they, they obviously mean whether the business has been won or the business has been lost. We wanna of course be clicking the closed one. So if we do, we just press that option, press save, and then this, this opportunity will be closed as one and that sale will have been created. And then from there, you need to go through the various different changes and whatever you need to do, your, what your processes are as a business. Now you also can change this, so you can press change close status. Now let's say unfortunately the, um, sorry, ch yeah, change close stage, so unfortunately if the, uh, the sale was actually lost, we can just change it to close lost, press save, and as you can see the stages have been changed, and this has been marked as closed lost. Now on this stage you can in fact put a loss reason so maybe you lost competitor no budget lost funding press the save button and that will be set on to that particular record and again if we go back to close one press save you will have different uh, information on the left that you may need to fill out as well um, and once you've done that, that is, I suppose, how to use the sales pipeline in Salesforce CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use the sales pipeline in Salesforce CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.